in today's video we are going to be creating an amazing poster design for mcdonald's grab your mouse as we dive in first and foremost we are going to create a new document choose a solid color with a solid color in place we are going to create a new layer copy this hair code Grab a soft hand brush, then we are going to set the foreground color to this hair code. Set opacity to 100. Increase brush size by the right bracket key and click once. With the layer in place, we are going to set the blend mode to overlay and reduce the opacity. Now let's grab our asset for this tutorial. So I'm just going to put this away and copy the texture. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste, Ctrl T, and we are just going to transform this. We are going to set the blend mode to soft light and reduce the opacity. We are going to create a new layer. Grab a soft hand brush. Foreground is set to white, and we are going to click once. I'm going to set the blend mode to overlay and reduce the opacity. Let's grab this item. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Right click and convert to smart object. Ctrl T, then we are going to scale this. We are going to set the blend mode to screen. Create a hue and saturation adjustment layer clipped onto the layer so the effect applies only to the layer. With the selected, we are going to create a max. With the max selected, Ctrl I to invert. We grab a soft hand brush. We set foreground to white. We are going to reduce the opacity. And we are going to reduce the brush size by the left bracket key. We are just going to make a few clicks to actually paint some back. We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. With the mark selected, grab a soft hand brush. Foreground is set to black, opacity is set to 100. We increase the brush size by the right bracket key and make a few clicks. Now we are going to set the blend mode to multiply and reduce the opacity. Now let's grab this shape. This is the base we are going to transform as the background where our price is going to sit. So we have this shape right here. We are going to paint some shadows around it. Now let's grab our rulers. Position it right here. If you don't have rulers, you are just going to press Ctrl R on your keyboard. Now we have the shape in place. We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. We are just going to move the shape a bit so the exposure applies perfectly. Now with the exposure adjustment layer selected, with the mark selected, Ctrl I to invert. We are going to grab the polygonal lasso tool. Zoom in and create a selection this way. We are going to grab a soft hand brush, reduce the opacity. Foreground is set to white because we are painting. So with the foreground color in place as, as white, we are just going to be painting some shadows.
we are going to swap the foreground to black reduce the opacity and we are just going to erase this way Now we are going with a selection in place. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer. Clipped onto the layer. So the exposure is only taking care of the selection. This is before and after. With the mark selected, we grab a soft tone brush. We grab a soft tone brush and we are just going to be raising a portion of that. So we zoom out, we make the brush bigger, and we are just going to erase. Now the base is almost complete. So we are just going to be slapping a lot of textures onto this. But before that, we are going to reduce the opacity for this. Create another exposure adjustment layer. Clipped onto the layer. With the mark selected, control I to invert. We grab a soft tone brush and we are just going to paint some shadows. So we are going to take care of the guys. Now we are going to create a curves adjustment layer. Now let's grab our testers. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Control T and we are just going to scale it. Click the check mark to confirm. We right click and clip it onto the layer. So we are going to set blend mode to soft light and reduce the opacity. With the layer in place, Control J to make a copy. We right click and we are going to clip it. Now we are going to copy this. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Control T, we are just going to scale it. Set the blend mode to soft line. Right click and we are going to clip it. But this is obviously too much, so let's take down the opacity. Now let's create a new layer. Grab a soft ambers. Opacity is set to 100, foreground is set to white. And we click once. We are going to set the blend mode to overlay. So I'm going to copy this now. We are going to transform it and position it properly. We are going to set the blend mode to screen. And we are going to create a max. Grab a soft tone brush. Reduce opacity. Set foreground to white because we are going to erase. So we are just going to erase these hard edges. We are going to take care of the hard edges. So that's enough. Then we are going to create a here and saturation adjustment layer. Clipped onto the layer we check colorize.
greater case adjustment layer. Now I'm just going to select all three layers. Ctrl G to make a group. Ctrl J to make a copy. So we are going to reduce the opacity. So let's copy this item and position it right here. Right click and convert to smart object. So now I'm going to add all the other items while we will be speeding this so we don't waste much time. So with this layer in place, we are going to create a curves adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. We are going to reduce the opacity. And we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With a max selected control I to invert. We grab a soft arm brush. We use the opacity and we are just going to paint some shadows. Foreground is set to white because we are painting. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer with a max selected control I to invert. So I'm just going to place some shadows to reduce the opacity. So we are going to create contour shadows with the layers in place. We are just going to create a new layer. Set foreground to black. And we are just going to create some contour shadows right here. Create another new layer. So we are going to reduce the opacity. Create a case adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. This is actually looking pale. And do. We are just going to create curves adjustment layer this way. That makes a lot of difference. I'm going to create an exposure adjustment layer and we are going to be painting some shadows. With the mask select that control I to invert to your right click and set roundness to normal. Reduce the opacity, undo and reduce the opacity. We are going to paint some shadows.
I'm going to create a solid color. We are clipping it onto the face. So we are going to set the blend mode to overlay with the mask selected control I to invert. We grab a soft sound brush and we are just going to paint some back. So we create a new layer and we are going to create some contrast shadows right here. We right click and we are going to change roundness. Foreground is set to black, opacity is set to 100 and we click once. So this is the contrast shadow right here, we are going to transform it. Since we do not have much to do and I don't wish to spend most of your time, I'm going to be speeding this up. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope to see you in the next one.